The mobile pumping method is a technique that's very quick and efficient in extinguishing uh, light flashy fuel grass fires. The firefighters need to be trained, need to conduct this safely and practice this uh, on a regular basis to be efficient. Although it's a pretty simple attack method, the firefighters need to work in concert with the engines as they are rolling together along the perimeter's edge. In a continuous motion, the firefighter is in front of the engine, either the right or the left side of the fire engine, approximately 25 feet. The firefighters also have to understand the capabilities and also the limitations to our type three brush engines along with the wildland urban interface engines. It's advantageous to our firefighters to understand fire behavior because the variable fire conditions can really affect how efficient the fire attack may be. Well, as I'm responding uh, to the scene of a vegetation fire, especially if we have smoke showing, and uh, we think maybe we may be mobile pumping, we know the area. What I'm gonna do already about, I can be about a mile out, I have smoke showing. I'm gonna go ahead and already start my auxiliary pump. Once the auxiliary pump is started, you have to prime the main pump to get pressure. I prime and I'm at an idle and I have some pressure and I can throttle up a little bit. Now we are ready to begin our mobile pump operation. Now the fire captain will give a good size up. He will exit the cab and assist the firefighter with the bumper line. The firefighter will exit the cab. He'll pull the bumper line, which will be approximately 25 feet of inch and a half hose. Select an inch and a half ranger nozzle with an inch and a half shutoff or an inch and a half shut off with a 3 8 inch smooth bore tip. Lead off the air, set your pattern, establish a good anchor point, and start the mobile attack and avoid pushing fire into the green. Now I'm watching his hand signals. He's gonna get us a good anchor point. He's telling me to go. Pulling the left flank, good anchor point. Now we're going to go to the portion that we feel is the largest threat. After establishing a good anchor point, I will drive into the black. This will maintain better visibility of the terrain, and this will not allow me to crush unburned vegetation, which would cause the fire to creep into the unburned fuel or the green. And, I, and the firefighter is setting the pace of the mobile pump. He's cooling in front of him. And we just move along. He's also, the captain is also my lookout for any holes, large boulders, or rocks that I may run over. And he'll tell me to hold up or what direction I need to go. And I'm just trying to and constant, have constant uh, visual of them. And I also have the PA set. If I see something, I can get them on the PA. The firefighter continues to cool the head in front of him until the fire is completely extinguished. And now that I'm approaching a hill and in some dirt that I'm not familiar with how the soil is or the compaction, now I'm going to stop, I'm going to put the unit in neutral, set my maxi brake, and I'm going to lock the differential, okay, and as we're approaching, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start the auxiliary pump, prime, and I can throttle up, I have pressure. Now I'll put it in gear. I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose gear two, and that's going to give me. I still have my low gear one to get me out of any trouble if I should have any trouble. Release the maxis. Now we just want to accelerate slowly and just gain traction and continue the traction. You want to keep your traction. Keep moving. You know, anytime it feels like it starts to dig in, just take off a little bit off off the throttle and uh, just throttle through slowly and just keep traction. You just want to keep moving. The fire captain will give a good size up. 
He will exit the cab and assist the firefighter with the bumper line. The firefighter will exit the cab. He'll pull the bumper line, which will be approximately 25 feet of inch and a half hose. Select an inch and a half ranger nozzle with an inch and a half shutoff, or an inch and a half shutoff with a 3 8 inch smooth bore tip. Lead off the air, set your pattern, establish a good anchor point, and start the mobile attack and avoid pushing fire into the green. Now we're going to go to the portion that we feel is the largest threat. And I'm just watching for uh, any hand signal to hold up, and the firefighter is setting the pace of the mobile pump. I'm going to drive the engine. I'm maintaining. I'm staying in the black. And right now I'm having full visibility of the captain and the firefighter. He's cooling in front of him. We just move along. He's also, the captain is also my lookout for any holes, large boulders, or rocks that I may run over, and he'll tell me to hold up or what direction I need to go. And I'm just trying to and constant, have constant uh, visual of them, and I also have the PA set. If I see something, I can get them on the PA. The firefighter continues to cool the head in front of him until the fire is completely extinguished. In the event we can no longer mobile pump and we are going to start a progressive hose lay, there are the steps you have to follow from uh, in the cab. Uh, first of all, place the engine in neutral, you set your maxis, you can turn your PTO on. To engage the main pump, you turn your auxiliary pump off. You can prime the main pump from either in the cab or from the pump panel. Step out of the cab and set your chalk blocks. And then return to the pump panel. Make sure your main pump cooler is open. Make sure your tank to pump is open. Check your tank fill and make sure it's cracked. It's about three quarters of an inch or approximately the width of your finger. Throttle up to the approximate pump pressure. Retrieve a starting line from the rear of the engine. Connect the starter line to an inch and a half discharge. Charge the hose and then initiate the hose line. Return to the back of the engine, get your hose pack, and then engage in the hose line. Simultaneously, the firefighter will pull the hard line off the rear of the engine. He's getting a good anchor point and making sure all fire is out underneath the engine and getting a good anchor point for the hose light. Once the engineer returns to the engine, this hard line will also become his safety line. The captain will also return to the rear of the engine, uh, grab a hose pack, and he will engage in the hose light also.
center has your thing. What a one! One or two! One at a time! Water one. Water two. Water coming. I'll get this last stick in. Gonna let this burn in the middle. Gonna let this burn in the middle. Water one. Water two. Water coming. Clamp. 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 Coming around to you. There's another one. Water one. Water two. Water coming. Yes. 